hide to the camera. <laughs> These men are going to work. These is what you call the unemployed, eh? <laughs> they should have been the one employed. They are the minority in our country. And they're not Bahamians. These are the ones that Peter Turnquist said now that unemployment is down. This is what he's talking about. This is what he's talking about. This is what he's talking about. Where the Bahamian faces. Unemployment is down. This is one day after he said unemployment is down. See here? This is who he's talking about. Unemployment? It's at zero. This is who he's talking about. These same men right here. And they're late for work. Say hi to the camera. Good morning. Right here. Hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Bahamas. Right here. I don't blame them. Come and take advantage of a government that believes in foreigners and not their own. See, their buses are just pulling up with more of them. Here, this is that Grand Bahama shipyard. This is that Grand Bahama shipyard. Our young men and women are not good enough for these jobs. All right, and you think this is bad. Can you imagine when this commercial enterprise bill sits in? It's now law, sits in good. Can you imagine? Hmm? This is what we got. Hey, how you guys? Enjoy your job, man. You know what I mean? Bohemian men don't have these work. This is what we got going on here live. And trust me, guys, this, this happens every day in Freeport, Grand Bahama. This happens every day. Yes, my for the camera. Right here. And buses and buses are pulling up with them every day. This is in Freeport, Grand Bahama. Man, this don't make you guys cry. This will make you sad. There goes one Bahamian. Yeah. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Enjoy your new job, man. These are the new jobs that were created by this administration. There you go. Say what you want. This is live and, and live in color. I can be here for another four or five hours and this will be happening. Thousands of men and I mean men are working from other countries. They have to house them. I mean clothe them. I mean give them health care, insurance. And this is what we have to put up with guys. These men are going to work. It's going to be in Bahamian young men. Now call me what you want. I'm only concerned. But when I hear Peter Turnquest, the enemy of the Bahamian people, speak about unemployment. I had to come here. I know this happens every day, but when he speaks of unemployment going down, how could it go down with this kind of activity happening down here? But this much foreign is coming to work. Real talk. Real talk. All right. I see one, two Bahamians. That's good. But look at what's unemployment. When he says down, these could have been Bahamian young men and women. Right here. Hey, say hi. Hey, we are from Come Peru. On. Yeah, from Peru. We are in Bahama. Yes. Philippines. Philippines in Peru. Hey, get out of the Hey, Salua. Salua. I gotta go. But I just want you guys to see what really be taking place down here. All right? This happens every day, all day. Piled up. All right? I saw three Bahamians. And they look like robots. They're like, boy, I better stay silent before I lose this job. Let's give you a shot how they pile up here. I would have gone live, but I'm going to edit this. This is the unemployment line. <laughs> and and when, you, when you look at Bahamians, this is the unemployment for the Bahamians. But this is employment for foreigners. And they are just glad to be to work. Oh, see two Bahamians, they're checking them in. They're going to, all I'm going to be working on the ship. Jobs. And they look kind of busy too. This is unemployment. 
in Grand Bahama. Okay? Doing it.